World capital Germania was the projected renewal of the German capital Berlin during the Nazi period, part of Adolf Hitler's vision for the future of Nazi Germany after victory in World War II. Albert Speer, the first architect of the Third Reich, produced many of the plans for the rebuilt city in his capacity as overseer of the project. Some of the projects were completed, such as the creation of a great east-west city axis, which included broadening Charlottenburger Chorsey and placing the Berlin Victory Column in the center, far away from the Reichstag, where it originally stood. Other projects, however, such as the creation of the People's Hall, had to be shelved due to the beginning of war. Although a great number of the old buildings in many of the planned construction areas were already demolished before the war, Nazi Germany's defeat at the hands of the Allies meant most of the plans for Berlin would never be realized. According to Hitler's table talk, Hitler's purpose in the renaming Berlin was to give a greater Germanic empire a clear central point. Just as the Bavarians and the Prussians had to be impressed by Bismarck of the German idea, so too must the Germanic peoples of continental Europe be programmatically steered towards the Germanic concept. Hitler described his vision for the city several months earlier, as world capital Berlin will only be comparable with ancient Egypt, Babylon and Rome. What is London, what is Paris compared to that? The official plan for rebuilding Berlin, with Albert Speer in charge, was called the Comprehensive Construction Plan for the Reich Capital. Doubts persisted at the time as to whether the marshy Berlin ground could have taken the weight of the proposed projects, leading to the construction of an exploration building, which still exists near the site where the Arch of Triumph would have been built. The structure is an extremely heavy block of concrete used by the architects to test how much weight the ground was able to carry. Instruments monitored how far the block sank into the ground. Speer was rebuked by Martin Bormann when he contacted Protestant and Catholic authorities regarding churches in the new building districts. According to Bormann, they were not to be consulted in the decision-making. Almost none of the other buildings planned for Berlin were ever built. Berlin was to be reorganized along a central three-mile-long boulevard known as the Magnificent Avenue. This new north-south axis would have served as a parade ground and have been closed off to traffic. Vehicles would have instead been diverted into an underground highway running directly underneath the parade route. Sections of this highway's tunnel structure were built and still exist today. The plan also called for the building of two new large railway stations, as the planned north-south axis would have severed the tracks leading to the old stations, forcing their closure. At the northern end of the avenue on the site of the Königsplatz, there was to be a large open forum known as Grozerplatz. This square was to be surrounded by the grandest buildings of all, with the Hitler's palace on the west side on the site of the former Kroll Opera House, the Reichstag building on the east side, and the Third Reich Chancellery and High Command of the German Army on the south side. On the north side of the plaza, Speer planned to build the centerpiece of the new Berlin, an enormous domed building, the People's Hall, designed by Hitler himself. Had it been built, the hall would still be the largest enclosed space in the world today. Although war came before work could begin, all the necessary land was acquired and the engineering plans were worked out. The building would have been over 200 meters high and 250 meters in diameter, 16 times larger than the dome of St. Peter's Basilica. Towards the southern end of the avenue would be a triumphal arch based on the Arc de Triomphe in Paris, but much larger. It would be almost 100 meters high. It had been intended that inside this generously proportioned structure, the names of the 1.8 million German dead of the First World War would be carved.